Hi guys, Gustav Gasperin here. We are back with Dr. Mike Pajekarski for our second video of the series. We're going to talk about the toe hold, how it works on the ankle joint and how it attacks the structures over there. The leg locks are very popular nowadays. A lot of gyms have been neglecting leg locks, but with the rise of the new tournaments like EBI, Metamoris, Polaris, leg locks are getting more attention and people are starting to train more at the gym. So we need to make sure that you guys practice safely, you guys know what you guys are doing, and Dr. Mike is gonna explain how they work uh, from a scientific point of view, all right? Make sure you follow this whole series. Next video is gonna be about the knee bar. So, doctor, let's see the toe hold. How does it work? So, the toe hold is interesting because it attacks two joints. If you remember from my last video where I talk about the ankle lock submission, which works on the talcrul joint, which is the, the first bone that connects to the shin bone. The towel cruel joint allows your foot to go up, dorsiflexion, go down, plantar flexion. The next joint down is your subtalar joint, which allows your foot to fold like this, inversion and eversion. So when I'm using the toe hold submission, I actually attack both. So when I take the joint to end range plantar flexion and I invert, there's two ligaments that can be affected that try to stop this motion. Right here is the anterior towel fibula ligament, and then there's also the calcaneal fibula ligament. So when I introduce the plantar flexion force and the inversion force, and I keep going, those are the two structures that are supposed to stop this motion, and if I introduce enough force, they will rupture and they'll be injured. Look at this, toe hold. You see it here, he this time he rolls for it, really puts his, his whole body into it, and that is it. What's interesting about this submission is it can also affect the knee. So if for whatever reason his hip isn't moving properly and I take him to this end range, as you can see, his foot will also rotate in or his tibia will internally rotate, which attacks the knee joint. In our future videos, when I go over submissions that attack the knee joint, I'm gonna break apart the anatomy of the knee and it'll make more sense on how the toe hold can also attack the knee in addition to the foot. It will be something similar to a heel hook, right? When you attack the toe hold, twisting my knee, it's similar to a heel hook motion, right? Very true, very similar to a heel hook. Correct. And what's the biggest difference you think in terms of safety comparing the straight ankle lock and the toe hold? The toe hold is more prone for damaging the ligaments, do you think, compared to the straight ankle lock? Yes, so uh, Gustavo brings up a good point. The toe hold, because it primarily attacks those two ligaments, and these ligaments have less sense receptors than some of the other structures like the, the, the tendon or the joint capsule. So um, if you've noticed, if you roll with someone, there's a much smaller window from when you apply the submission to when damage occurs as opposed to the ankle lock where you can apply the submission, there's a point of applying pressure before damage occurs. So this is a submission that you have to be more careful about because if, if you apply it too fast or your partner is near the submission, you could cause damage. Um, and, and this injury for people who realize is very similar to a ankle sprain and someone rolls their ankle. Great stuff. Thank you very much. Hope you guys have liked it. Uh, make sure to watch our next video. It's going to be the knee bar. Talk to you guys soon.